All right, hey everybody, what's going on? This is Mike. This is not my normal setup. I'm actually using my webcam today because I've been out all day with the kids and the family. My son had football practice. We're back in a normal house. We're no longer traveling. And so um, today is going to be a good video. I'm going to do a month number two update on my age domain case study with niche website builders. And last month I introduced the site to you, talked about the backlinks it had, where it was starting. And at the time it really had no traffic. And so let's jump in and see how the second month has gone. I will show you everything from analytics to search console to Ahrefs data, and we will kind of explore how this age domain is growing. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see me anymore. I'm not gonna back out of this and check the face cam thing. Nonetheless, let's just kind of jump into how things are going. All right, this is an age domain case study that I started with niche website builders. Back in May of 2022, two months ago, I purchased 100,000 words of content and in return for me sharing this with you, they gave me the age domain, um, but I had to purchase the content. So I spent about $7,000 in content, which gave me about 105 articles. And those all were uploaded, interlinked, and indexed into Google when it was handed over to me. So the site truly was ready to go from the gate. So overall, things are moving very quickly and in the right direction. So last month we had 611 sessions, which was the very first month of the site, and it had 923 page views. So as you can see here in Google Search Console, back here around um, the end of May, there was nothing. And then in the beginning of June is actually when the site went live. So we're actually just hitting two months of, of live time. And the total clicks are at 1,400 impressions at 175,000. And our average position is 14.4. Now, if you go back to last month's video, the average position was somewhere in the 18s. So we've had some good growth as far as not only organic growth and impressions and clicks, but also some good cert positions are moving in the right direction as well. All right, so this is from Google Analytics, as you guys already know. And what I've done here is done a comparison between this month and last month, and you'll see that users um, are up 195%, sessions are up 177%, and paid views are up 135%. Now, I do have a pretty substantial decrease in pages per session as well as as well as number of sessions per user, but specifically pages per session. Um, not too concerned about that right now. When a new site comes up or a new site's getting new traffic, I just think there's a lot of things in and out, and I, I'm not going to put too much weight onto this yet until I have a lot more data as far as traffic and then make it a informed decision about what's causing that data um, to decrease. All right, so Ahrefs overall, this is, so if, for those of you who have Ahrefs, there's Ahrefs overall, and then there's the, uh, then there's the 2.0, and I'll show you both because it has different data. I'm not sure why there's a 2.0, but nonetheless, my DR is going to be a uh, DR15. I have roughly 1,800 backlinks, 600 preferring domains, uh, almost 4,000 words, organic keywords are now ranking, which was zero when we started and almost 5,000 traffic, according to Ahrefs, which you'll see here in a second is not accurate. Actually, we can go back where we looked at that. Page views this month was 2,170 versus 923 last month. So that's a really, really good jump, and we had almost 1,700 sessions. So for the first real month of being live, it's technically the second month, but it's the first full month that we were live. That's actually very good numbers. All right, so this is two different breakdowns of keywords positions. And so in the top bar, we have positions one through three. We currently have 50 US keywords in positions one through three. And then keyword in positions one through 10, we have 218. So 218 keywords in the top 10 positions. That's great for the first month as well, or second month. All right, so this is Ahrefs data overview 2.0. It's a little bit different of a layout and actually has different data. So. It still gives me a DR15, backlinks it has less, referring domains it has less, and organic keywords it has less. Um, organic traffic I think is the same, obviously no paid keywords, no paid traffic, but as you'll see here, the domain was growing over time back in 2021, and then obviously Google and Ahrefs and everybody caught wind that the site went down, nobody was using it, things were going offline. And so there was a very, very sharp and substantial decrease all the way through March of 2022 up until June 2022 when the site went back live. And as you can see, it's quickly regaining traction with organic traffic. 
Um, the good part about that is the referring domains didn't really change much. All right, so what's next? You guys know the drill with me. It's going to be content, content, content. I am a volume content blogger, not a quality blog, uh, quality content blogger. Although I'll say I do buy all this content through niche website builders because they do the keyword research with it. And I think they do a great job at that. So I pay about seven cents per word for that. But in my opinion, it's good keyword research. It's good quality content. Um, and it ranks well. So I'm just going to continue using them for this age domain. Now with my personal sites that I, I manage myself, those I go through other brokers like buy, sell, text or um, Textin or Passion Post. There's a variety of services I use all the time. Um, but that's the focus. I just purchased another $3,500 word, another $3,500 worth of content, which is 50,000 words. And that should give me somewhere between 30 and 50 new articles, um, depending on the length and complexity of each article. And we will continue to monitor, make sure everything's growing in the right direction. And we'll tune in next month to see how we've gone uh, into month three. All right, guys. So there you go. There you have it. That is the traffic for this month number two with our age domain case study. Um, if you noticed, some of those keywords are in the niche of, uh, excuse me, some of those Keywords are ranking in the country of India and some other foreign countries. That's because this is a wildlife site and some of the animals on the wildlife site can be found in other continents. So you have people searching from around the world versus just North America, like my grilling website. So obviously that will affect EPMV, that will affect display ads, that will affect a lot of things in a negative manner versus a positive one. I don't plan on doing any affiliate marketing with this site. It's strictly going to be display ads because it's evergreen, it's wildlife related, and it's things that people will search year round. And I don't want to sell them anything. I just want to put the informational content on there and let the ads do the work for me. So my last conference call with Adam from Niche Website Builders, we discussed a keyword research plan and they do a tremendous job of doing that homework for you. But me and him talked and we're kind of on the same page. We want to start growing some content for some more of the animals that are going to be on the North American side. And that way the keywords that start ranking moving forward should be predominantly U.S. North American traffic, and that should help with that balancing that ad revenue um, and giving it that U.S. traffic that the ad partners want to see so they can sell it to their advertisers. So there we go. Month number two, age domain case study. Things are growing. Things are moving, and hopefully this was helpful to you guys, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.